given this particular situation. Item number two. Which of the following? method when a teacher aims to measure if learners are able to demonstrate product type of learning targets. Option A, demonstration with performance rubric. Option B, essay with scoring rubric. Option C, multiple choice tests. And option D, feasibility study. So you are already familiar now with this item even those who did not uh, take the test because this is actually provided no, as an example earlier by Dr. Marilyn uh, when she was discussing no, the solo, uh, uh, when she was discussing the literacy inventory in general, including the solo scoring no, for this particular inventory. Mentioned, feasibility study is the best answer for this particular item. So why feasibility study? Because we are, what we are looking here is the demonstration of the product type of learning targets. No? So feasibility is a product because it's a feasibility study that's being developed. So let's see how the teachers perform in general when it comes to this particular item. Okay, so as already shown no? uh, by Dr. Balagtas earlier, although this one's a more updated data compared to what she presented earlier, the pattern of results is still the same. Okay, remember earlier, uh, she only have around 12,000 responses. This time, we have about uh, over 13,000 responses, but the pattern of the, the results this is still the same. No? If I remembered correctly, it's about 11% no? uh, in what she presented earlier. Now, even if we have some additional respondents or responses, it's still just very low performance. No? It's just 12%. So only 12% no? of the teachers who took the test and answer this particular item actually got the correct answer of option B, feasibility study. And what's surprising here, no, and maybe interesting, is when you look at the uh, data, we can actually see, no, very, it's very much highlighted that many teachers actually, no, many teachers over, no, uh, this over fifty percent, no, about ten thousand of the teachers who took the test and answered this item actually answered demonstration, option A, or demonstration, if you go back to the item, demonstration with performance rubric, okay? Um, of course, demonstration with performance rubric is not the correct answer because this is an assess assessment strategy uh, that's better suited for performance type of learning targets, or basically, when it comes to learning targets, skills, learning targets, no? Because what's uh, being asked is a demonstration no, of a particular skill or set of skills. Hence, when it comes to product assessment or assessment of product type learning targets, then a product like an essay is actually better no, and that of feasibility study. No? Of course, essay is a product, uh, but uh, when it comes to actual product, then feasibility study is a better uh, answer because it's really something that's uh, used by students or developed by students by applying other types of learning targets. Remember the other types of learning targets, we have knowledge, reasoning, skills. So product type of learning targets typically is when we try to develop a product wherein we apply all other learning targets, no? like skills, we apply also our knowledge, we apply also our reasoning. In essay, although it's a product, we typically only apply knowledge and reasoning, but not skills like that of a feasibility study, okay? And I will assume that maybe the reason why some teachers actually answered uh, option A, uh, it's because of the word demonstration, no? Because uh, item two STEM uh, says able to demonstrate product type of learning targets. So maybe um, many teachers thought that uh, the keyword there is demonstrate, hence they answered demonstration with performance uh, rubrics. Okay, so that's not the case. No? So sometimes when there's an item stem, it doesn't mean that there's a related keyword, and that, that should be the actual uh, answer to that particular item stem. And in this case, it's possible that some teachers 
thought that because there's a keyword demonstrate in the item stem and in one of the options, and they actually selected uh, option A, which contains the word demonstrate or demonstration. Okay, so for the twelve percent who actually uh, was able uh, were able to answer uh, this item, then it's actually good that they were able to really. Uh, analyze no, the item stem properly as well as that of the options, okay? Item number three, still under competency number one. Which of the following choices is the appropriate assessment for the given scenario? So the scenario is in the box. The teacher wants the students to reflect on their own learning, new understanding, and recently acquired skills. The students are expected to provide evidence of the changes in terms of their understanding, beliefs, or skills. And again, of course, there are four options. Uh, but if you notice, basically, uh, the options is in terms of two, no? formative assessment and summative assessment. No? But they differ, no? the four options differ in terms of the description or characterization of formative assessment and summative assessment. But A and G, what refers to formative assessment? And option B and C, what refers to summative assessment? But the correct answer is option B, summative assessment, which measures the extent of students' learning based on preset criteria. Okay, so why is it not option C, which is also summative assessment? Because option C uh, characterizes summative assessments requiring recording and reporting of students' performance to improve instructional practices, okay? Well, it's okay actually to record, no? Uh, some of the assessment, no? that's part of it, and that's part of grading, no? However, uh, the need to actually make use of data to improve instructional practices prefer more to formative assessment rather than summative assessment. So in this case, the correct answer is summative assessment, but it's option B because summative assessment's characterization as something that measures the extent of students learning based on preset criteria is the better answer no? because the teachers want to measure students' uh, learning when it comes to their understanding, beliefs, and skills no? because they are looking for changes no? on these particular skills. And that can be actually obtained through the use of summative assessment, tasks, tools, or strategies. Let's see the results of the inventory survey. Okay, oh. just like item number two, uh, it seems that the teachers who took the inventory find this item no, a little bit more difficult no, uh, because less than 15% of those who answered item number three actually got the correct answer, which is option B. Okay, and well, uh, if you notice, there are more teachers who actually answered letter A and letter D, which are both on formative assessment. So why, why do you think that, uh, if you try to reflect, no? why do you think, and even in for instance, you are one of those who answered letter A or letter D uh, with this formative assessment, no? you can actually uh, say that, well, if you, you can, if you commit an error here, then maybe you will answer letter C, no? because it's also about summative assessment. No? But in this case, it seems that many of the teachers actually thought...